update. Thank you. <laughs> eight years ago, <laughs> eight years ago, I stood here with my family in this same dress, as a matter of fact. I do hang on. <laughs> when my husband was nominated for the first time, and four years ago, I stood up here and thanked you for all that you've done for me, not knowing that I was going to have a chance to do it again. But you've given us such a wonderful life, a life that I really never dreamed possible. And it's the most extraordinary feeling to represent a nation and its people. And I can never thank you enough for all the experiences and memories that you've made possible. The last eight years have been the most fulfilling ones of my life. Tom mentioned the drug letters that I have received and the program that's meant so much to me. But you really gave me that chance. And you really gave me the chance to be more than I thought I could be and brought something out in me that I didn't know was there. And you helped me, and I thank you a great deal for that. And you've always been there for us. It's true there were some rough times for my husband and me, but as I said to you four years ago, I always felt that I could draw on you for your support and your affection. And I did draw on you a great deal more than you knew. And I thank you for that, too. Now, I'm sure that this will be the last time that I'll speak before a Republican convention. My husband's and my time on center stage of Republican politics is passing. One era is ending, another is beginning. But before I go, I want to thank you for all the years that you've worked for us and on our behalf, so many years, really. I'll miss you. I'll never forget you. So, good night and God bless.